Here we go in five, four, three, two, one, go! Boss? Boss, buang mo naman ng kape. Ah, start na ba? Oh, hey, hey! Good morning, everyone! So, this is your RF guy under RF Engineering, the Beginner's Guide. So, I'm very excited today. So, dahil ito ang ating pilot episode for the RF Engineer PH. So, the Beginner's Guide. So, this is just an introduction about what's in it for the RF Engineer PH and what's for you sa ating YouTube channel na ito. No? So, let's start. Mm. Okay, let's start. Ano bang meron dito sa RF Engineer PH? Well, as the name implies, this is the beginner's guide. So, expect natin ay meron dito mga basic concepts, rudimentary theories, practical applications, and best practices. So, pag-usapan natin yung mga yan dito. Um, what else? Para kanino itong RF Engineer PH? So, sino ang target natin dito na tulungan? Okay. Unang-una, mga estudyante na merong thesis about telecom at gusto nilang maintindihan ang concepts ng RF engineering or the telecom industry. Pangalawa, yung mga fresh grads, it's either board passers or non-board passers, they can go on this YouTube channel and then browse the videos that they want to learn before they go to any technical interview. You can use this uh, YouTube channel for that one. Diba? Solid, diba? Okay. So, yun yung mga for the academe, no? Sa mga papasok pa lang dahil ito para sa mga beginners. Now, doon naman sa mga meron ng career sa, sa telecom. Um, you can you also use this uh, YouTube channel. Unang-una, doon sa mga non-RF engineers na gustong pumunta sa RF engineer katulad ng mga transmission engineering na gustong subukan ng RF engineering. Maganda kasi pinagsasama to eh. No? RF engineering, tsaka transmission engineering. Solid partner yan. Civil works engineering. Yan. So, minsan kasi gusto maintindihan ng mga civil works engineering bakit baganto kataas ang tore, bakit dito, bakit hindi kailangang ilipat dito ang site. Yan. Next is site acquisition engineering. Yan. So, kapag marunong sila ng RF engineering, kahit mga basic ah, uh, concepts. Mas maiintindihan nila kung bakit or what, what are the reasons behind the design ng mga sites na tinatayo natin. Okay, so that's uh, for those uh, na meron ng career. No? So, ayun ang target natin for RF Engineering. Um, next is, ano naman ang wala dito sa RF Engineering? Beginner's Guide. Well, dahil nga ang pangalan niya ay Beginner's Guide. Wala dito ang kinalulungkot kong sabihin sa inyo. Wala dito ang super duper, super scion, la higher life form, RF expert. Walang expert dito. Probably, um, meron dito yung mga experienced engineer lang. Na, mga experienced engineers na who wants to share your uh, their, their knowledge, their experiences, their best practices in the field with you. So, sometimes you don't need an expert to teach us, no? And, if there are some instances na napansin nyo na mas magaling kayo kaysa sa amin or mas competent kayo kaysa sa amin, it's okay. As long as we contribute to the good value of uh, RF engineering, of the contents in here in the RF engineer, um, there's no problem about that, Okay. So, that's it for our introduction for today. So, what's in it for you? Para kanina to? Anong meron dito? Anong wala dito? Okay. So, if you have any more questions, uh, you can just email us at rfengineerphilippines at gmail.com or like us on Facebook sa RF Engineer PH. So, you can see the logo ng RF Engineer PH. Ito yung ating logo. And then you can see the picture, the background picture, just like this one. Okay, so that's it for today. And I hope I'll see you again soon on our next discussions. Thank you. So this is RF Engineering, the Beginner's Guide.